Let me call your attention uh, to the book of Deuteronomy and I want to look at uh, chapter 30 beginning at verse 1 through verse 3. You'll find these words uh, recorded in scripture. The Bible says, and it shall come to pass when all these things are come up on thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whether the Lord thy God hath driven thee. And thou shalt return unto the Lord thy God, and shalt obey his voice, according to all that I command thee this day. Thou and thy children, with all thine heart, and with all thy soul. Verse 3. That then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity and have compassion upon thee and will return and gather thee from all the nations whither the Lord thy God hath scattered thee. May God bless. You may be seated. The reader, the hearer, and the doers of his holy amen and matchless word now I, I want to use for amen a subject text for today just for your hearing for a little bit amen uh, I want to talk about amen blessing blockers I want to talk about blessing blockers. Amen. This is something, anything or anyone that will derail, detain, or deny you. Amen. From getting to what God has purpose for you. Amen. The word derail means to be, amen put off track or out of position. Amen. The word detained means to be held as if one was in custody. Amen. The word denied means to prevent, amen, one from getting to, amen, something, amen, that has been promised. So a blessing blocker is anything that will derail, deny, or detain you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, in the scripture text, amen, and, and uh, I'm going to go through, I might not, I probably won't get through all of it today, amen, so we'll have another part, but amen, we're going to go uh, as God would lead us today. Uh, there are several reasons, amen, that, that causes an individual not to remain in the blessing cycle of God. Amen. Amen. There are some things that, amen, will cause you not to remain uh, there. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So uh, what we have to do, we have to uh, uh, maintain some good behavior. Amen. And make some good decisions. Amen. We have, we have to do that because, amen, uh, there is an enemy that desires to, amen, uh, cause us or keep us from getting to uh, what God has promised us. The path that you're on, uh, hallelujah, praise God. Uh, see, you can't serve, uh, amen, God and the devil at the same time. Uh, you cannot. Uh, the Bible said no man uh, can serve two masters. Uh, he will either hate one uh, and, and love the other. He'll either despise one uh, and cleave to the other. Amen, hallelujah. So we got to make up a mind, uh, hallelujah, that I don't want to be blocked uh, from the blessing. 
blessings of the Lord. I'm going to do what I need to do so that the blessings and the anointing and the power of God can be on my life. Somebody ought to give him a praise. I shout hallelujah. Ah, so, uh, ah, so praise the Lord. Uh, as God reveals, uh, as God opens up my understanding, uh, as God brings knowledge to me, uh, amen, then I'll take the word. Uh, I'll do what David said. I'll begin to put it down uh, in my heart. Uh, amen. As I'm getting good information, uh, I'm getting accurate information. Uh, I'm not in iniquity. Uh, my life has been cleansed. Uh, I've been washed in the blood uh, uh, of the Lamb of God. Uh, amen. He has set me up. Uh, he has set me up uh, on a rock. Uh, and that rock is Christ. Uh, can you shout hallelujah? I have committed my life uh, unto him. Uh, so I'll do like the psalmist. Uh, I won't fret because uh, of evil doers. Uh, I won't be envious against uh, the workers of iniquity. Uh, because I understand uh, that they're going to soon be cut out. Uh, and wither like the green herb uh, but I'll commit my way uh, unto the Lord uh, I'll delight myself uh, in him uh, because I want to be blessed uh, but there are some things uh, that the enemy will send our way uh, to cause us to be blocked out uh, can, you ha can you shout hallelujah hallelujah praise God uh, if you ever been in a shopping parking uh, lot praise the Lord uh, like some folks are today uh, amen and you see a parking spot uh, and a Another car seat a parking spot. Amen. I've seen some folks uh, pull up and block the spot. Uh, amen. When something is blocked, uh, it means can't nobody else get there. Uh, hallelujah. Praise God. Uh, so this is what the enemy wants us. Uh, he wants us to be blocked out. Uh, hallelujah. Praise God. But you ought to high five your neighbor. Say, I'll let nothing, uh, I'll let nothing block me uh, from getting to my blessing. Uh, somebody shout glory. Glory to God. Uh, so praise the Lord. Uh, I won't be ignorant. Uh, I won't deal in inaccuracy. Uh, I'm not going to be living uh, in iniquity. Uh, I won't be inactive, uh, but I'm going to do what I know to do. Uh, amen. Hallelujah. I got my information straight. Uh, amen. I'm communicating uh, with the captain of my soul. Uh, amen. Can you shout hallelujah? hallelujah. Mm, uh, glory to God. Uh, hallelujah. Blessing blockers. Uh, things that will keep me uh, Amen. from getting to what? Uh, Amen. God has purpose for me. Our bad decisions, uh, amen, will cause me not to remain, uh, amen, in the, in the blessing cycle. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. It's, it's a bad thing. Hallelujah. I said bad decisions. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, amen, that if you can't afford, amen, a Mercedes Benz. Yes. Amen. Just because somebody else got one. Yes. Amen. And these folk nowadays, praise the Lord. Amen. They got all kind of deals and, and, and things. Yes. Amen. Stuff that will draw you in. Yes. But you got to be smart. You got to use the wisdom of God. Yes. Hallelujah. You know you're working at McDonald's. Yes. Amen. And you're barely making it. Thank you, Jesus. So why would you go and put yourself in, in something like that? Put yourself in bondage. Lock yourself up. Amen. Now, praise the Lord, you got to dodge your phone. You got to screen call. Hallelujah. Don't nobody here do that. I just threw that in for free. Hallelujah. But you, got, but you put yourself in bondage. Amen. Simply because you made a bad decision. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Wouldn't wait on God. The Bible said wait on the Lord and be of good courage. Amen. Praise the Lord. Wait on God and then he's going to strengthen your heart. He knows what you need. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He knows what I'm able to handle. Amen. He knows what I'm able to handle in this season where I am. Praise the Lord. So something. He's not going to give to me yet. Because what, what sense would it make? Amen. To give a three-year-old. Amen. A Jaguar. He ain't ready for it yet. Amen. He's not ready. 
God knows what we need. He knows when we're ready. Praise the Lord. And the Bible says it's his good pleasure to give on this children the kingdom. Amen. You got to be ready. Amen. And you can't allow these four things that I've mentioned today. Amen. To block you out. Praise the Lord. Number five is inconsistency. Inconsistency is uh, not to regularly do what we know or have been taught. Amen. When, when, when we don't regularly do what we know to do, that's right, which we have been taught. Amen. We are being inconsistent. Hallelujah. And this inconsistency, amen, will detain my progress. In other words, God could have promised me something, but because I'm inconsistent, do you all remember the Sunday school lesson this morning? Elisha was consistent. Amen. There was no inconsistency, amen, in him following after Elijah. Every time that Elijah said, I'm going here, he said, I'm going too. Inconsistency, praise the Lord, amen, will cause, amen, the blessings of God to be with hell in my life. God wants to do it, amen, but because I, I'm so inconsistent, amen, that, 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 amen, today I'm saying I'm saved, amen, and you talk to me tomorrow, amen, I don't know whether I am or not. That's inconsistency. Amen. God wants us to be consistent. Amen. Get a hold to him and then hold fast. The scripture says, hallelujah. The scripture says, then Jesus said unto those Jews which believed on him, if you continue in my word, then are ye my disciples indeed. Amen. In other words, Jesus was saying that you have to be consistent. Amen. You got to be consistent in your walk with me. You got to be consistent. Amen. In your relationship with me. Amen. No woman or man wants to be married to an individual. Amen. That they're going to come home on Monday night, but you won't see them no more till Friday. Amen. Nobody's going to put up with a relationship like that. In their right mind. Because, amen, that's not consistent. That's not consistent uh, to the way marriage works. Amen. That's inconsistency. So therefore, when, when that type of relationship exists, amen, there's trouble, there's turmoil. Amen. There's frustration. Amen. In the relationship. Why? Because there's some inconsistency there. Hallelujah. But God don't want us to be like that. He said, if you continue in my word, yes. then are you my disciple yes. indeed. Yes. And ye shall know the truth. Yes. And the truth will make you free. Yes. Amen. See, I gotta have, I gotta have everything based on good information, yes. which is the word of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. So, so therefore, amen, as I'm learning the word. Amen. I'm pushing ignorance farther and farther away. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm no longer, in, I'm no longer doing, doing things based off of incorrect information. Yes. Amen. I'm no longer practicing sinful behavior. Yes. I'm no longer failing to act on what I know is right. Yes. Yes. Amen. I got some consistency. I got some stability in my life. Yes. Now. Hallelujah. Because I've been walking with him. Amen. He's been talking with me. Amen. We've been in communion together. We've been in fellowship together. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. My time is getting away. Amen. I'm not going to finish this. Praise the Lord. Amen. But let, let, me, let me make one more. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. So I said that, 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 that one thing that could block us was ignorance. Uh, uh, number two was inaccuracy. Number three was iniquity. Number four was inactivity. Number five was inconsistency. Number six is impatience. 
Amen. Impatience. Amen. Impatience. It is when we do not trust God's process and the way that he does things. Amen. When, when we don't trust God. Hallelujah. Amen. I remember late Pastor Claude used to sing the song and said, Amen. He has a way that's mighty sweet. But see, all the time, amen, we don't understand. Amen. Amen. Because, amen, he don't give us, amen, a written road map to say, okay, when you get to this stage in life, amen, your children are going to go crazy. And when you get to this stage in life, your husband going to go crazy. And when you get to this stage in life, amen, you're going to go crazy. Amen. He doesn't, he doesn't give us a, a road map like that. Amen. Praise the Lord. But, but we got to be able to say like Job, amen, that, that he knows the way that I take. Amen. And when he has tested me, when he has tried me, I'm going to come forth as pure gold. Hallelujah. Amen. But so many of us, amen, amen, amen. Have you ever met people that's impatient? Amen. Praise the Lord. You can call somebody, praise the Lord. Or somebody can call you and say, Sister Jones, or, amen, Sister this, or Brother this, can you pick me up? And because of impatience, amen, maybe you went out and the tire was flat. Amen. And so now you got to change the tire. And that's going to take a little time. Amen. You told them you'd be there in 30 minutes, but you didn't know the tire was flat. Amen. And the person that called you, amen, because you're not there, when you said they're impatient. Amen. They leave the house walking. Going to wherever it is that they were going. And simply because they're impatient. And this is the way a lot of folks is when they come down to God. We are so impatient because he doesn't move when we think he ought to move. Amen. 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 And so, and we'll tell ourselves, well, it must be God's will for me to do this. I prayed to the Lord. Amen. Amen. I needed $150. Amen. And it ain't showed up. So it must be God's will for me to go and pawn my title. The devil is a lie. God never meant for you to pawn your title. Amen. And pay 50% interest. That's not God's will. Amen. But, but because people are impatient. Amen. And not willing to trust God's process. Yes. Hallelujah. In Acts chapter 5. Praise the Lord. Amen. There, there's a husband and wife. Amen. Praise the Lord. Who did not trust God's process. The latter part of Acts chapter 4, praise the Lord, we find the saints, amen, they're giving, amen, Barnabas sold his land, he brought all the money, he laid it at the apostles' feet, amen, and, and the saints were giving, amen, praise the Lord, and God was blessing. But when we move over into chapter 5, amen, we find this husband and wife, amen, the scripture said that they, they had a possession and they sold it, amen, it was there, it was in their power, they sold it. Amen. But after they got so much, amen, because there was some impatience, there was some greed, there was some inconsistency there, there was some inactivity there, there was some iniquity there. Amen. They said that, listen, we can't give all this to the church. Amen. We ain't giving Peter and them all of this. What we gonna have left? So the Bible says when when Ananias when he came in, the anointed man of God, did you sell the land? Yes, I did. Did you sell it for so much? Yes, I did. Ananias. Why has Satan, notice who feels his heart, why has Satan filled your heart yes. to lie? Mm -hmm. Lying is a bad thing. I may cover that in the, in the next part. Why has
says, Satan, fill your heart to lie. Uh -huh. To the Holy Ghost. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. You have not lied unto men, but you have lied unto God. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's bad when, when, when we don't trust the process of God. Yes. It's bad when we don't believe God. Yes. When he has proven himself over and over and over again. Yes. We used to sing a song, you keep on proving yourself. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Jesus. But, but because... Amen. And see, this, this, this society that we live in, amen, it, it, it's an impatient society. Yes. Praise the Lord. Amen. My wife was in the store the other day and she was telling me, she said she was standing in line and somebody, because they were impatient, just, amen, walked by and got up just like she wasn't even standing there. Impatience. Amen. Impatience can cause you, amen, to lose your life. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We're living in a mean and wicked society now. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I tell people, just be patient. Amen. I ain't got to go first. Go ahead on. You may be in a hurry. Go ahead on. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I don't even take the chances like I used to drive. Amen. Just died out. Amen. I'll wait now for a long time. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I ain't in that big a hurry. Yes. Hallelujah. But listen at, listen at this. Listen at this. The Bible says, and tell me back to this question. If a man dies, shall he live again? All the days of my warfare and service. I'm reading from the Amplified Bible. I will wait until my change and release shall come. You know, Job said, I'm going to have some patience to wait on God. Amen. I may be in a rough situation now. I may be in a hard place right now, but I have made up in my mind that I am going to wait. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Children of God. Amen. Amen. You need to learn how to wait. Praise the Lord. And trust God to know that he knows exactly where you are. Amen. Praise the Lord. And there's nothing that can happen to you or I that God does not know. Amen. That he doesn't even sin or allow. Praise the Lord. He knows. And he knows how much you are able to bear. Yes. And he promised through his word that he will not put more upon any one of us than we can bear. Yes. So if you are in the storm right now, he knows you can handle it. He has given you enough grace to know that you'll be able to stand up under the pressure until he brings you out. Yes. Give God a praise in here today. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Blessing blockers. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to cut it off there, praise the Lord. We'll give, amen, part two another time.